Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about Charge Point ticket symbol CHPT, which is a stock that we cover here. Um, as of recent as last week, um, I told you guys uh, we were approaching certain levels in Charge Point which could either go up or go down. So there's been some movement and uh, some of the reasons behind that movement. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to charge point, again, this is one of the leading uh, charging stations in the country. So I've told you guys uh, my EV plan, again, uh, from start to finish. So I look at companies that mine lithium, I look at companies that build batteries, I look at companies that build cars that use those batteries, and I look at companies that, uh, that create charge charging stations for to charge those cars and then when the cars get old i look at companies that can extract the lithium out of those batteries and recycle it so that is the the land so charge point is one of the leading charging stations and so we we, we covered that here on the channel uh there's been some movement so again if we go back and take a look at uh charge point uh, when I talked about it last time, even before we go back and look at the charts, guys, um, here's why I just want to make sure that we cover this real quick. The director of Charge Point Holdings sold 4.6 million um, uh, in stocks. Usually, when this happens in the market, it creates a panic because either most people always assume that if you are um, somebody on the inside and you are selling. It means you probably know something about a stock that we don't know. You're probably anticipating that the price of that stock is going to go down. So that's one of the reasons why ChargePoint um, took a bidding. So if we jump right here uh, into the charts, I'm just going to take a look here so we can see. So if you can see here, this is the, what we charted last time. So I was showing you guys these levels. If you can see right here, charge point approach here, it was sitting somewhere about 1920. So, and I told you guys that each time this stock has actually uh, approaches levels, it's bounced. So if you can see here uh, from the highs uh, back as early, um, um, I think that was like December of last year, this thing has pulled uh down a, a lot so each time it approaches this 20 level 2019 level it bounces approach here bounce approach here bounce and then right here same thing so the last the last one we're talking right now is here so and i i mentioned this in the last video i said if it if it bounces back and then expect a run but if it breaks this level then i'm gonna i'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull uh the the but if it breaks this level, then I'm gonna pump the brakes. I'm not gonna follow it. So we were expecting, so right here, this is where we talked about it last time. It was sitting somewhere around here, just about 1950 or so. So it popped up to about 21, as you can see right there, up to about 21, and then pulled back down hard, which that news came out that the um, director sold 4.2 uh, million shares, I think, yeah. Let me just go back here. 4.6 million shares actually. So the director sold 4.6 million shares. So see, it's broken this level right now. So if you can see this trend line that I, I drew here, it's now trading below that. So at this point, I don't know what the new support is gonna be. So I'm gonna have to wait here. I'm not gonna take a trade at this particular point. I'm just gonna wait. Um, again, if I wait for it to bounce back and if it bounce back and crosses um, that at 19, um, getting into 20, that might be uh, enticing for me to go along. But as of right now, this thing is not trending in the right direction. So I'm just gonna hold uh, the pump the brakes here and wait. Uh, the same thing is happening with, um, if you can see here, Bling, which is a competitor of Charge Point. I just wanna bring this up so you guys can see. It looks like the sector is actually really uh, getting pounded. So if you can see here, Bling has done the same thing uh, from the highs back in uh, early January pull back, blink came down here to 28 uh, and some change, bounce came down here, tested that again, uh, bounced off right here around 28, 29, bounce, and then right here, we were if you were expecting that bounce, it just, just kind of broke through. So it's actually going down um, it, below those levels that we have actually charted in the past. So this is, uh, for me, again, my strategy here is that I'm gonna pump the brakes and kind of wait to see uh, what goes on here. So 
if you are if you were trading for me um remember when i talked about charge point last time i gave you guys level so i did but i did buy some calls here around 19 and it got up to that 21 when i noticed it was starting to show some some resistance and i i took the profit there um it wasn't a ton of profit but i took the profit there was hoping to get back in but look at this it just kept pulling back and so at this point i'm gonna wait until i see uh a support or establish some uh up the bottom for me to get back in the other thing too if you want to have at least have some confirmation here i would say this trend line this 1920 to me is a really good uh spot so if it, if this thing uh curves back up and break that and then that would give me an indication that we're starting to see back an upward uh, movement here and then that's when I might consider taking a long position but until then I'm just gonna wait um, allow this thing time to kind of settle in so uh, why is there a charge point pulling back one in my personal opinion is because of this inside that uh, selling where the, the director is selling 4.6 million and again guys um, it just it's just a feeling in the market it's just people and just be like hey if you are selling if you're in there you believe that this stock is gonna go up why are you selling at this price why don't you wait for it to bounce back and go to that 28 29 uh, dollar price point where the stock is actually traded to sell and make more money you, you prefer to sell at these lower prices so there's something that you know that we don't know that might pull the price of the stock down so that could be our, our the, the reasons and, and the market would get that kind of feeling that this is what's going on so uh but definitely do do your own your own research and make sure that you understand um what's going on here and then the other thing that i, I kind of see here that's going on is the infrastructure bill that has our building uh, i think 500,000 charging stations across the country uh is getting stalled in congress right now we don't really know what direction this is going to go uh democrats are struggling to get the votes to pass that bill um again ev is a huge part of that bill uh the 3.5 trillion dollar bill so they're talking about uh, maybe bringing it down to about 1.5 trillion but again um those auto sentiments are people are starting to sense that so if there's no direction they don't know that this bill is going to pass that might definitely be one of the reasons why people are starting to panic and sell and take some profit um off of uh, charge point so again those two things in combination in my personal opinion is why so that's why i'm gonna i'm gonna just back off charge point right now until it shows me some some support levels that i'm comfortable with and then to start looking to go long so again let me know in the comment section uh what you think about this if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated